Tim, yeah. you know, all day today, at least in the Johnstown area, it looked like it could rain at any time. Yeah, yeah, no, no <laughs> rain on the radar. Yeah. You know, there was a chance for a little rain today. We didn't have any so far. Maybe a few sprinkles early on, a little bit of patchy drizzle. Right now, early warning Doppler 6 showing you that we are scanning the skies and you're not finding any green, meaning there's no rain to be found, but plenty of cloud cover. Look at the satellite picture. All of those clouds all across west central Pennsylvania. A little less in the way of cloud cover well off to the west. They're seeing more sunshine. Their temperatures are a little bit warmer. More clouds and sunshine tomorrow, but no severe weather expected. I think everybody should stay dry for the most part tomorrow. Now here's the future cast. We're going to take you through time here. Show you Friday at 6 p.m. Notice the mainly cloudy skies winds pushing in from the east. Now overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, there may be a sprinkle or two. Better bet for maybe a little bit of drizzle or patchy fog when you wake up. But I think most of the day tomorrow looking dry. But notice those clouds still sticking around across the Alleghenies for tomorrow. The rain holding steady to the north and west. And as we head into the overnight, notice the chance for rain again to the northwest through your day on Sunday. Scattered showers possible. At this point, different models are saying different things. The timing for this front looks to come in late Sunday into Monday. So if you have plans early on Sunday, you might be better off to get those done early as opposed to later. Temperatures, check this out. We're at 69 in Somerset, 68 in Altoona. 69 State College, 68 in Dubois, and 66 in Johnstown. But go 70 miles to the west in Pittsburgh, it's 84. What the heck's going on here? Well, we have winds coming in from the east, mountains right here. Those mountains are keeping those clouds away from the Pittsburgh area while they're keeping them kind of socked into the Alleghenies with all that cloud cover. We're getting temperatures a little bit below average today with highs only in the upper 60s and lower 70s overnight tonight. We won't drop back very far. Only upper 50s to low to mid 60s overnight, mainly cloudy with some patchy morning fog and your regional forecast for tomorrow. We'll start you off in the eastern Alleghenies. A lot going on tonight and tomorrow. 78 degrees in State College, 78 in Altoona Huntington tomorrow at 79 degrees this evening. You're at 66 tomorrow, 79 degrees with mostly cloudy skies for the Huntington County Fair into the northern Alleghenies, mainly cloudy skies with your temperatures here at 75 in St. Mary's. 76 in Dubois, 78 degrees in Clearfield and Punxsy tomorrow at 79 degrees. And as you head toward the Laurel Highlands, you can expect your temperatures to be running only in the mid to upper 70s, 75 degrees tomorrow in Somerset. And if you're heading down to the Listy Nationals tomorrow night, 7 o'clock in Listy, 70 degrees with mainly cloudy skies, although I don't think you're going to see much in the way of rain. A lot going on over the next couple of days across the Alleghenies. Your seven day forecast showing Sunday more clouds and sunshine with some rain working through that cold front will work through Sunday into Monday. At this point, if you have plans on Sunday, do them early 78 degrees. Notice no 80s in the seven day forecast. We're staying in the upper 70s as we head through the next seven with the chances for rain. Best bet into next week, Wednesday and Thursday. So, so much happening. In fact, is it, aren't the Steelers playing a pregame yeah. tomorrow at Heinz Field? You got the Steelers pregame tomorrow, and then you also have uh, Portage Summer Days. Yes. You have uh, Richland Community Days. <laughs> you have Fisher's ATV Tour up in uh, Patton. Mm -hmm. So much going on, so get out and do something this weekend. If you're going to do it, Saturday is the day. All right, Tim, thanks.